Hello, welcome to .NET Training Academy. In this video, uh, we are going to learn how to send an email using ASP.NET Core 2.1. ASP.NET Core 2.1 is the latest release of uh, Microsoft.NET. So let's get into it. So first thing is I'm going to go to the terminal. Here in my case, I'm using Visual Studio Code. You can also use any other text editors that you like or you can also use Visual Studio IDE but Visual Studio Code is my preferable choice for developing .NET Core applications so first thing I'm going to create a directory uh, named as email using mail kit so I'm going to change my directory to that currently created directory so I just uh, go I just wanted to create a dotnet new MVC is the command to create ASP.NET Core MVC applications. So here dotnet new. So for the second thing is I'm going to uh, run this project. To run the project, here's the code uh, that's generated using this command dotnet new MVC and here uh, I'm going to run the project just to verify everything is working correctly as of that I generated so here uh, you can command click or control click uh, depends upon the uh, laptop or PC using so here is that email using it's just uh, generated a normal scaffold so that's it and yes uh, the second thing is going to be uh, to install a new a NuGet package okay so to install a NuGet package you can go to NuGet.org and instead of that you can search for mail kit which is the package used to send mails emails using any uh, you can send cross-platform mails uh, for uh, phones uh, laptops web applications uh, in dot net so here's the commands to install the package so it is a package if you use package manager console in visual studio id you can use this command in my case here i'm going to use this command which is a dot net cli install the version is 2.6 okay I, I should go to the uh, folder and I just paste that and uh, it will generate the code ah here uh, our packages are installed so what actually I'm going to do is to go to the controller to test the this uh, simple mail is working so for that I'm going to first thing is uh, I'm going to do is to import all the packages that I need using mail kit dot net dot smtp using mail kit okay to send a message uh, I'm going to do three there are three steps to uh, send an email one is to instantiate my message class second uh, specify the from address and to address and subject and body okay first thing uh, as usual let's uh, create a message instantiate a mime message uh, new mime message over here then 
second step is going to be using that message object dot from dot add new mailbox address and uh, uh, we need to specify two arguments one is the name another one is going to be mail address rather ramen 6195 at gmail.com and um, next thing is to to address message dot to dot add new mail address and as usual the same two arguments so in here the two address is going to be dot net training academy okay so the mail ID is going to be the rogstech615 at gmail.com okay so the subject so the third step thing is subject so the message dot subject equal to I learned to, s to send an email using ASP.NET Core 2.1. That's fantastic. And the body of the message, message dot body is equal to is equal to new uh, text part here using this one. Uh, which is uh, text part using this uh, class or method uh, we are going to specify that this is going to be the plain text uh, nothing other than that we are not sending any attachments or any other kind of stuff only the plain text so uh, we just instantiated the constructor and specified a plain so the text is the property is equal to uh, ha. I am using mail kit uh, new get packager to send email easily so this is really awesome so and that's it uh, we just sent so I'm going to specify the semicolon here and finally what we are going to do is to configure and send a message and send email I'm sorry mm, so for that I'm going to using where client is equal to new SMTP client client dot server client dot certificate validation callback is equal to s comma c c comma so the first thing is to connect to the client client dot connect smtp dot gmail dot com and the port number is going to be 587 and the authentication which is true SMTP uh, SSL authentication is going to be the true the first parameter is the server that you wish to send in this case I'm going to use the SMTP mail Gmail server and uh, a port number and SSL uh, there are these are the three arguments and client dot authenticate authenticate is going to be client dot authenticate so here uh, what I'm going to do is to use the username and password so username is going to be the Raja Raman 619 
So finally, I'm going to disconnect this one. Disconnect is going to be true. Save this. Okay, let's run this program. To, so to run the, this kind of uh, this uh, code, what actually I'm going to do is to uh, once again build this application. Build here. I'm getting a two couple of errors. At the line forty, I am missing semicolon here. Yes, that is right. So let's once again run this program. Save this and run .NET build. And here I'm also using I'm missing something syntax error. The 3343 require a new expression. So 33 EL, oh, sorry, it's a constructor. Class, I didn't specify anything. Oops. That is awesome. So uh, the final thing is going to be dot net run. So you can use the command click and if you go to the uh, contact page so nothing happens here so let's check uh, my inbox yes here I received the mail uh, I learned to send email is the subject which we specified here and this is the body message which we specified here so and this part will continue because what I'm going to do is to create a custom contact form and we are going to customize this uh, really very cool in the second part of this video so if you like this video please like and share this video if you want more content like this uh, because this is a very long series of uh, a lot of cool and interesting uh, packages interesting uh, things that you can do using ASP.NET Core and you can learn a lot of stuff and so please share and if you have any queries or doubts or feedbacks please comment below and don't forget 